Hi, my name is Jack Knaus, and I am the co-founder of Make a Miracle with my wife, Carol. And we were first introduced to San Juan when our oldest daughter went on a mission trip with a church group. Eventually, Carol and I got down there and were able to see it firsthand. When you go into the communities up on the hills and you see places that they're calling homes that are made from cardboard, discarded billboards, that's the most visible need. I think as we got to know the people more in those communities, the lack of access to education really struck us as one of the greatest needs so that they can kind of move through that cycle of poverty and provide a better life for themselves or someday their children. The mentality that they are locked into really stems from the fact that they have not had an opportunity to see a path forward. In Peru, there's very little government involvement as far as offering money for them to continue their education. The cost of continuing to go and get their education to change that cycle really was not available to them at all. We currently have about between 80 and 100 students that are on scholarship. The greatest part for me is when we have to go help other people in their community, how much these students and these people that have been helped out are willing to pay it forward. They are very eager to help other people. It shows that they really appreciate what they've received. It tells me that they see the future getting better and they want it to get better for the community, not just themselves. The need for the funding for education is our number one priority. Adding obviously a lot more scholarships because there's somewhere north of 1 million people that live just in San Juan. One person gets a scholarship, now it's 10 people, and now it's 100 people, and 200, 300. I think just continuing that path of more education, more scholarships will have an impact on the community. We're scratching the surface. We've grown every year, but we have a long way to go.